I'm a veteran, served eight years in the Navy. This is my first semester here and I'm an elementary education major. This is my third semester here, um, studying biological science. I graduated from Richard Montgomery High School and I'm studying uh, cybersecurity and computer science. I'm deaf. My major is general studies to be a social worker. I'm a, a proud mom, mother of four. I just graduated from Northwood High School. Coming from a different country where the educational system is completely different. Sometimes meeting people that expect that you know how is the system here works, it's hard. I'm really happy that I'm a part of a college that accepts, for, accepts anyone with any backgrounds. Each one of you has experienced some kind of barrier or obstacle that is unique to you, right? To what you've gone through, to your upbringing, or to the circumstances around you. You know, I'm doing double life, you know, like being parent, being work, and college, you know. Uh, so I always think those things. When I was getting out, we had one week. They gave us a one week course where they sat you down in the classroom and said, hey, this is how you be a civilian. I'm in, from a different background, so I need you to adjust to my needs so I can be equal to everyone else. I can do the work. I just, I just need a little help with it. I wanted to make a name for myself. I didn't want the status of an, being an immigrant to stop me from going, from succumbing to the truth, like what they've, the society's been saying. A friend's friend, she's, um, she's undocumented so she's not able to pay. She wants to finish, but I, don't th I think it's gonna take a little bit longer for her to finish just to pay it off. Like when I got here, I was like, okay, well now, because you don't have like parents or family members to go to and talk to about like the college process, or like if you need help on a paper or financial aid and registration. So if I'm gonna be a full-time student, I have that in one hand, right? It's like picking apples, then you're like, all right. But in this hand, I still gotta pay my rent. So, you know, it's like, okay, which one comes first? And it's like, all right, I gotta take care of them both. Now it's like, all right, now, now what do I eat? Some of my friends, they have degree back home, but by learning, spending this time at the college, they kind of feeling discouraged because, you know, I know as a second English language learner, it's kind of tough, you know, to, to meet the qualification. Everyone has different backgrounds and we cannot treat everyone the same way. The challenges don't, don't, make us who, don't make us who we are. We don't know what we don't know, right? And we have to, getting out of high school, getting out of the military or what have you, we have to rely on the counselors. You gotta learn where to start first, right? Nobody knows where you're supposed to start unless you, unless you did the research on your own, but mm -hmm. then again, I did my own research and that kind of messed me up a little bit. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think everybody, should, I think that's one of the biggest forefronts that we should be pushing is academic counseling. So one of the important things that I wanted to add on was that within this academic counseling, that they be educated with, with to be able to support immigrants. Because the reality is we can't file, we can't file FAFSA. We can't um, go for financial aid or these opportunities that are open to other students. I think there are a lot of scholarships opportunities out there that students just don't know. So maybe make them more accessible to students, more, um, so students are more aware um, where to find them, because I know for sure once that I got more involved in different activities, that's when I found a lot of resources and a lot of things. When we're talking about helping hands, like MC is like that helping hand, like they provide you with scholarships and resources, counselors, like for me I was an ACES, so my ACES coach was a big like resource. Promote or share more of the success stories with, um, with individuals who have barriers and promote how, how much of a difference we are um, making. I see many kind of people without any disability barrier of language, barrier of uh, culture, uh, being immigrant, being in this country. So, uh, so that, I think that's the reason make me to think to, to go to school. If I go to school, if I have degree, if I have, if I know more, if I integrate, I can make more difference. So I think that's the beginning of uh, the, the opportunity at the MSE.